young people need to be connected to nature. They need an opportunity to get away from the technology and, and get outdoors. They need an opportunity for meaningful human interaction. Steve, the organization Scouts is important to you. Tell me why. That's a great question. And scouting has been important to me for virtually my entire life. And even in current years as an adult, I still contribute to the organization in a number of ways, locally, nationally, and globally as well. But my scouting journey started when I was eight years old. Uh, my mm -hmm. aunt encouraged me to join the local Cub Pack and get involved mm. in scouting for the very first time. And I, I wasn't involved in a whole lot at that point. Uh, but she felt, based on my cousin's experiences, that it would be a good way for me to to learn and grow and develop. And it, and it certainly was. Uh, so that was in 1986, which is mm. a few years ago. And through scouting as, as a child, I got my first exposure to leadership opportunities. I learned about teamwork. I learned about overcoming adversity and tackling mm. challenges. Um, I got to see the world, uh, really. Uh, my, my first experiences leaving the island of Newfoundland and, and venturing out were, were as a result of scouting. And I've, mm. I have traveled the world as a result of my involvement in, in scouting. I can safely say that I wouldn't be who I am today, and I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the scouting organization. Which comes as a surprise to some people because there are a lot of people today who are surprised Scouts is still around. And, and yet it is the largest movement of young people on the planet today with over 60 million members worldwide. Wow. And, and still going strong yeah. here in Newfoundland and Labrador and, and across Canada. Not with the numbers that we once had, but, but nonetheless still, still an important entity. And I continue to contribute because scouting gave me so much. One of the most important exposures I think I had as a result of scouting was, was to community service and to leadership. And I, I got involved in Mount Pearl. I got involved in causes in my community and beyond as a result of being exposed to community service and public service through scouts. Um, and in today's world, I firmly believe that young people like my kids and, and the, the children and youth I work with in the community I believe that in today's world, scouting is needed more than ever. Uh, and, and the pandemic actually really shone a light on that. Yeah. Uh, you know, we went through several years where the lives of young people, the lives of everybody, were, were, were very much disrupted. And I think we're still very much recovering from that. Mm -hmm. um, so now as, as we do recover, young people need to be connected to nature. They need an opportunity to get away from the technology and, and get outdoors. They need an opportunity for meaningful human interaction. They need those, mm -hmm. those interpersonal experiences that, that organizations like Scouts can provide. It's not just about the outdoors. It is about community service. It's, mm -hmm. about, it's about developing leadership skills. But it's about connecting with, with people in a meaningful way. It's about, you learn about teamwork, responsibility, uh, and all kinds of other life skills that are valuable. And, and I think in today's world, in today's society... Uh, we need to turn to organizations like like scouts and guides to 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 step up and and play that important role in young people's lives. It's so commonplace now to uh, to see children. I have a little two and a half, two and a half year old boy, and uh, one thing, like we talked about earlier, nutrition is is big in my family, and trying to keep the way keep a, keep the TV and the iPad and that kind of thing away from. Our, our child is, is, is very important to us. Now, nutrition, I think we nailed. We're pretty good there. But it's so easy to put an iPhone in front of them or turn the TV on or that kind of thing. And it's like you just said, ever since lockdowns, it became so incredibly important to, to get kids outside, get the children outside and, uh, and experience nature for what it is. And it's, it's so incredibly commonplace to look at children all over and I mean at the end of the day I don't think it's anybody's fault it's just a societal thing nowadays but there's cell phones there's tablets there's computers there's TVs and no natural sunlight and um, you know when I was growing up like you were growing up we spent our days outside yep. and nowadays it's like the the it's the polar opposite yeah I mean we we would be outside often until 
the street lights came on yeah. as our as our parents used to say and it, it's a different world today um and in a world ironically where people are more technologically connected than ever before i think we're as a, as societies we're we're farther and farther apart socially so and true. economically yeah. uh so so it's it, so it's a real challenge and mm -hmm. not just scouting but every organization i've been involved with in government in business in the community everybody is struggling with the reality of how technology has impacted our lives and how mm -hmm. to how to respond to that uh, mm -hmm. we we can't ignore it um and for organizations like scouts it's it's now about figuring out how to to embrace technology in a way that doesn't that doesn't water down the program, doesn't compromise our values and what we're all about. Um, so there's, you know, there's there's skills that scouting teaches where now technology is being incorporated into the mm. program in an appropriate way. Uh, but we we need to also um, get back to basics, I think, uh, mm. in terms of in terms of human interaction and relationships, in terms of connection to our communities, and I would say also in terms of connections to nature and and the outdoors 